the Joe Rogan experience. Wouldn't have been mad either. Dude, how about your boy Sage Northcutt? Yeah, Cosmo Alexander. Cosmo killed a guy. He's a beast. Did he? Sage is still in the hospital. 17 fractures in his face. Yeah, no, he's still in the hospital. One I, championship I he said, actually killed a guy no, outside no. of that. No, he basically Because, you know, did. Sergei Kovalov did. Yeah, I know. Kovalov killed a guy in a fight. Um, well, Cosmo Alexander is a world-class Muay Thai fighter. I mean, John Wayne Parr fought him. You know, he what fought Nikki Holtzkin. He's world class as far as striking. It's a completely different level. But I guess because it was an MMA fight, he was willing to take it. But they they fought they fought stand up. Poor management. And S Sage took that karate stance, <laughs> and the dude circled off um, to his right and landed that fucking right hand, and it was on the bazaar. That's the hardest right hand I've ever seen. I was. Can you imagine? Mm. I, I can't think. Just uh, from a world class striker with four ounce gloves on, and he's circling into the right. Yeah, and it's like a fucking bomb. It's pretty goddamn strong. And Cosmo's a beast of a man. I mean, he's a big, thick dude. See, I mean, a big, thick dude with multiple world titles to his name. Don't you feel bad you for this again? Do you feel bad for Sage? Yeah, it's a terrible matchup. I don't know why they uh, agreed to let him fight that guy. Boom! It's just not smart because that because the the kickboxing the stand up like he doesn't have the experience. No, no, no. He's I mean Sage is good. He's very good. But these these kind of losses are terrible for a few for his future because they're mismanagement losses in my opinion. I agree. I think uh, Sage is what twenty two. Like look at that punch oh that lands. I mean that God, is dude. ferocious from a world class striker. Yeah, I mean that's full, to circle left, full blast too. That is a full blast so shot. To circle right. You can't. You can't get hit cleaner than that no you can't even hit a, it's be hard to hit a fucking but meanwhile when he fought you ever seen him when he fought nikki holtzkin uh cosmo yeah yeah he got nikki, out class for nikki sure holtzkin fucked, fucked him, him up. up there's Here's the thing. levels there's levels but mm -hmm. in mma sage isn't even rem he shouldn't be they shouldn't be sharing the same ring well cosmo's, if i'm on championships though why would i why would i bring this this stud this american Stud who looks like Ryu from Street Fighter and go, hey, first fight, here's the most world class striker we got on the roster. Well, because they want him to be tested. And I oh, think that if on. I was uh, Chatri, I would be looking at it like this. When a guy like Eddie Alvarez gets KO'd, or a guy like Sage Northcutt gets KO'd, or a guy like Mighty Mouse gets tagged and has a real fight on his hands, then you're showing the whole world, like, hey, these guys that are coming over here that are world-class fighters, they're fighting world-class fighters. I get and they're that. getting knocked out. I get that. Here, on the other It's a great thing for him, I think. I, certain, certain. So with uh, Eddie Alvarez, veteran, he should be fighting. Hall of Famer, Bellator champ, UFC champ. Give him the best you got. He's yeah, seen it all. Right. It's going to be tough to get burned past him. Sage Northcutt, Mighty Mouse, give him the best you got. He's seen it all. Good luck getting past him. Right. Sage Northcutt, you're investing in his future. He's not ready. It's a good so point. You've kind of fucked him, man. Well, I think also you're trying to get in the American market. But Cosmo's not an MMA fighter. That's the thing. This is Cosmo's first MMA fight. What if Sage just takes him down and smashes him? That would have been great. Yeah, but I mean that could have happened too. So when you, when Cosmo, it's not Sage style. He's but, not a grappler. Okay, but he knows how to grapple. Sage is taking guys down in the octagon it, before. Taking Cosmo down is easier than said. He's trained with me and Rashad at Black Zealand and fuck us up. Did he? Yeah, <laughs> it's a nightmare. Yeah. So when I saw it for Sage, I'm like, what? When also, are you building striking? Cosmo? He's older, man. Well, he's only 34. 37. 37? Is he? 37 has 1,000 kickboxing matches. Like, you're going to invest in that mm. now? It, to, to, yeah. From a business aspect, doesn't make sense to me. I think it does, though, because it shows with two giant results over the last two months that one has world-class talent there. And I think it makes people pay more attention to one. Not me. It put me off of him. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's went, crazy. Oh, that's fucked up. No. See, listen, man. I'm a Sage Cosmo fan. is a fucking Muay Thai fighter. I mean, that's his bread and butter. He fights Muay Thai. Stand-up's so, his bread and butter, yeah. So when Cosmo goes and fights in an MMA fight, you would think at least in one area he's going to be at a disadvantage. If Sta Sage chooses to have a stand-up fight with a world-class stand-up fighter, that's just bad strategy. That's Sta Sage's game, though, especially as a young fighter. It is his game, but he's a mixed martial arts fighter. Then he should become a kickboxer. If that's his game, it's just to stand up and f strike with people, then just stay a kickboxer. Well, because if you're going to fight, well, listen, man, if you're going to fight in MMA, in MMA, you could do everything. What do you want to do in this fight? Don't you want to win? Okay, good. I want you to win. Here's how you win. You don't stand with one of the best fucking strikers in the world. How old is he? 22. Gosh. Sage? Come on. Yeah. Yeah.
but you just tell him. I this know. Is, this I get is it. an He's exercise 22. and strategy. You you keep that side stance. That's fine. Bait him in, but then shoot. And so, get, just get the clinch and drag that motherfucker to the ground and let's wear him out. I'm with you. Which he's never done in any fight ever. Right. So, but let's but he say, has taken guys down before. Yeah. But let's say you see your manager and they go, hey, here's Cosmo. I'd go, hold on. Let's just, let me go through this with you, Sage. Pros. You beat a straight world-class kickboxer in MMA. He's also 37 years old. Not a lot of pros. Cons. Okay, but he's 37 years old. You can't take old. him down. He fucking starches you and your face gets broken 17 places and your, your career is probably... Not going well. The trajectory's yeah. definitely off the rails. Well, Pros, that, cons. That's true. It's just, if you look at the way boxing has always done it, and the, the, it's been often criticized, but there's some real good points to it about developing a fighter. You give a guy a fighter a difficult fight that you think that he has the advantage in, but it, it's an advantage that will teach him some things. Like the, when the guy fights with them, what is this, Jamie? Cosmo's ninth fight was against Sage. Oh, he's had a bunch of MMA yeah. fights? Bellator. Uh, why did he say that and on his- And he knocks his, out um, everybody. He said it on his- um, I don't know. His, uh, his, what the fuck? His Instagram, like Instagram? post about it. He's no that joke. That he doesn't man. fight MMA. He's no He's fucking joke. everybody out almost. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. Starch everyone. One look, championship goes, here you go. Yeah. He's been look, a couple years, I guess. Oh, I see. 2016. So, don't let that years. fool you, though, man, because he's yeah. training with the best of the best as well. Bottom line is, as a striker, he's superb. Yeah. And he's, he's fucking. But then it's the crazy thing see. is, pull up the Nikki Holtzkin fight. Nikki Holtzkin knocks out Cosmo Alexandra. That just shows you Nikki how many Holtzins. levels there are. But then Nikki Holtzkin just lost to uh, Regian Ursel, just lost to him, yeah. got, got dropped with a knee. It's so interesting, man, when you see levels upon levels upon levels, and you don't necessarily know that these levels even exist unless you're balls deep in the fucking sport. Like, you see a guy like Nikki, first of all, Nikki's like one oh of the best God. body punchers in kickboxing. Ever. And, and this is a kickboxing fight as opposed to a Muay Thai fight as well. So, no elbows, limited clinching, and uh, you can only hold for like three seconds when you and throw a knee. You can only like, you can only hold while you're like, think one knee at a time or something like that. They have weird rules, you know? Here's the thing. The fact that Cosmo Alexander went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Nikki Holton, I'm probably going to yeah. pass on my young 22-year-old, yeah. wide-eyed youngster fighting him. Nikki Holton had an amazing career in glory, too. Some fucking incredible oh, so fights. So fun to watch, The Joseph man. Valtellini fight where he knocked him out in the last round. Yeah, he's a, he's a beast, man. Super, super tactical and monsters. just tough as shit. Yeah, I mean, look at just the way these guys are standing in front of you, just checking look everything. Look at the technique, bro. Perfect, perfect it's technique. Insane. Perfect defense. Oh, we dropped him with that left hook. Yeah. Look, Holtzkin's a, a monster. And this is, by the way, a kickboxing fight. Holtzkin also fought Cosmo Alexander and knocked him out in one FC. This is, uh, this is it's showtime in Amsterdam. This is quite a few years ago. It's Showtime was the shit, man. You used to get it on Access TV back when Access TV was HD Net. Do you remember that? Mark Cuban's Fuck, uh, yeah, HD Net was dope. That they MMA Live with Ron so, Kruk. Yes. I used to go on there all the time. Boss Rutten. Hell and, yeah. And who's the other guy that Boss Rutten was on with? Uh, our boy, Mara Ronella. No, 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 the other guy. There was another guy who was on. Kenny, Ru Kenny, oh, Kenny Rice. Kenny Rice. Kenny Rice. Kenny Rice, yeah. That's right. Yeah. But <laughs>